Hey my loves, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are stopping here for the first time, it's good to have you here. If you're a returning OG, thank you so much for your love and your continuous support. I really do appreciate you. Now guys, let's get right into today's video. Today guys, we're talking about the movie The House of Secrets. The House of Secrets is a psychological thriller. It's a Hollywood movie produced by Victoria Kindro B, directed by Ni Akimolaya, and is currently streaming on Prime Video. Now guys, let's talk about the House of Secrets. Okay guys, so I'm just going to be reading the plots from my phone. Let me not lie to you because I don't want to spoil this movie. So a sheltered woman's past comes back to haunt her when she's thrown in jail for being an accomplice to a spy lover. 20 years later, a group rescues her from jail and sets up um, a semblance of her whole house to make her remember a secret number, a spy lover, Eid with her. Basically, that's what this is all about. Okay. This psychological thriller stars um, if a really will play the role of um, young Sarah, Sean Fakwa will play the role of Panam, Sarah's um, husband, and of course we have Onajite Dede. Oh my god. Anyways, I'll talk more about that when I'm talking about the performances. On Ajita Dede, we'll play the role of um, the older version of Sarah. We have Kentensha, we'll play the role of Mrs. Eckert. Um, we have um, Emeka Wangwaracha, we'll play the role of Daniel. We have... Now this name, guys. I, I'm going to kill this name, but please forgive me. Have mercy on me. Please, oh, please, oh. I cannot pronounce it, oh. I've been trying. We have um, Kepi Epiong Basi. Who played um, the role of General Sani? We have um, Femi Jacobs, who played the role of Dr. Badmos. We have Funola Aofuyebi Raimi. I hope I did pronounce her name correctly. She played the role of Mrs. Lawa. We have Taye Arimoro. Quite a lot of people were in the movie. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to stop here and let's move on to the performances in this movie. Actors like Onajite Didi brought their A game to the table. She gave an applaudable performance, a portrayal of, um, you know, the other version of Sarah. Guys, you know, how she switched from being a weak woman to a strong and um, powerful woman who has no fears, um, you know, in challenging authority. Oh my God, I absolutely love Onajite Dede's performance in this movie. If you really as well, did an amazing job, you know, playing the role of um, young Sarah, Sean Farqua. Guys, Sean Farqua is a very talented actor is someone you know one of those people that you can't help but love I absolutely love um, you know is um, portrayal of the character of um, Panam and of course the chemistry between um, his character and um, young Sarah as well I absolutely love his performance and his character as well now kids and show um, Wangwaracha um Femi Jacobs they all did an amazing job you know playing their character the actors um brought the A game to the table they understood the assignments and they did absolutely great now guys let's talk about the storyline the storyline for this movie is different honestly movies like the house of secrets and gangs of lagos are a breath of fresh air to the nollywood industry i mean it's not every day you get to see a psychological thriller on your screen you know we they've used love to finish us in this industry i'm not saying that I, I don't like romantic drama i really do like romantic drama but then again the movies like this I love them as well, guys. I also love, um, you know, um, this psychological trailer. Um, this movie tells a lot about what loyalty really means, you know, and how easy it is to get people to buy into an idea that they have little or no details about. You know, when people decide to follow a particular politician, they'll just... Some people do their research, while others, they just blindly follow the politician. They don't know what they are following, they don't know the cost, but they carry, you know when somebody is selling something, you carry it on your head, carry another person um, load on your head, and then when someone come and price the market, you don't even know how much they are selling it. That's how a lot of people do behave, you know, fighting for a cause that they have no knowledge about is very bad. So this movie tells a lot about loyalty, mental health, um, the greed of power and how it can consume a man. Um, it tells a lot about love love and of course how we as individual we can contribute to the betterment of um, our government hey betterment of our government <laughs> this way that this psychological thriller um you know was set in nigeria's 1999 military era to the current democratic 
um, era of the country. It tells the story of Sarah and Panam. Sarah was um, working at the post office back then, you know, and Panam was a young military officer. They both met, they fell in love, and they got married. Now, the democratic Anova was going to happen, and um, Panam found out that, you know, General Sani, the general at that time, was planning a coup to disrupt um, the democratic Anova, and Panam was not going to be a part of it. Now, when the general found out that Panam was going to be an hindrance, you know, to his plan and Panam had you know documents and other necessary information about the general's um, plan he decides to get rid of Panam and the documents and you know any other person that was aware of it and was not going to be a part of the plan so in the process of you know trying to get rid of the documents and Panam Panam lost his life um Sarah um you know lost her memory now 20 years later this same general Sani is running for presidency and remembers that oh and Sarah is somewhere and she's still in possession of those documents she's definitely going to use these documents against me so he decides to you know repeat history all over again and um you know to get rid of sarah and the document and of course any other person that was aware of the document but this time around guys <laughs> to find out what happened this time around hey if general sani was able to you know get rid of sarah and the document or get rid of sarah or the documents yeah or now should i say or now go on amazon and watch the movie the house of secrets it's currently on prime video things that i like about the movie oh my god i love the cinematography for this movie um the shots were very impressive i love the fact that a lot of sets you know were built in house i absolutely love um you know the costumes they they just you know speak to both era 1997 and um the current era where we are but one question i want to ask is that in 1997 no shake me the use it's just a side question anyways um i absolutely love the color grading for the film the use of black and white in telling the story absolutely do love me self i was even you know thinking that they should have just told everything in black and white honestly it makes sense girl i absolutely love that and of course they had used flashback in telling the story so that we would understand um the characters better and um you know understand their actions and every other thing that's you know they do now moving on guys let's talk about the things that i do not like about the film i really didn't think that i would find myself saying this honestly speaking if you know me you know that nia kimolayo is arguably one of my favorite people in the industry but i mean i just have to say this now, first of all, I must commend Ni Akimolayo and his team, you know, for coming up with such a great idea. Yet, it's, it's not every time we see these kind of movies. But then again, what happened? What happened? See, I'd read um, one of Ni Akimolayo's interview where he had promised us that this movie was going to trigger us, you know. Um, it's going to be one of those movies that doesn't end where the movie or when the movie ends you know we are going to find ourselves having conversations about the movie we're going to find ourselves defending the characters in this movie it said that we're going to be intrigued but it didn't it didn't happen that way it didn't happen that way at all this movie took me from year to year because what I had, you know, so much expectations. This movie was meant to be one of the biggest movie for the year 2023. And, you know, years to come, people are supposed to keep talking about the movie. But it didn't, it didn't happen that way because the, the storyline was just not, um, you know, was not just doing it at all. Um, the beginning of the movie, the, you know, the plot was actually great. But I don't know what happened later on, but it wasn't just it. In all, The House of Secret is a very good movie and I'll definitely recommend this movie for you. You may watch this movie and have a different, um, you know, experience from myself. So, I recommend this movie. You can go watch the movie on Prime Video. It's currently on Amazon. And please, guys, don't forget to let me know what you think about the movie. Now, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification icon so that when i post a new video you will be among the first set of people to be notified thank you so much and see you in my next video oh and of course you can follow me on instagram at a so i'm just going to leave my instagram handle here